Hi all and welcome to my drop in for week two. Um, my hair's a bit crazy, it's very humid right now. Hopefully you're all in far cooler situations than me right now. So what I wanted to do as an add on, add on to this week's discussion and as a bit of a continuation of our second activity last week, the glossary terms, and one which I think is gonna be really helpful with the first assignment that's due um, Monday week five is when we define terms or terminology in our responses like neoliberalism, which is a key concept from this unit, um, managerialism, uh, uh, stakeholders, uh, account accountability, I would really like for us to get into the habit of getting a scholarly definition that works for us. Um, use taken from one of the unit sources or taken from a source that you already know. I think it's really important to define these sorts of terms as there is no fixed or static definition of what each of these terms are. Of course we have the dictionary um, but that's not appropriate for a scholarly piece of writing. Um, so with the glossary last week, I think it was, we were working on working definitions. And a working definition is a definition that's not scholarly, but it's one that you've made up that you can refer to when you need to quickly think about what a term means. So what I would like us to do is, I mentioned last week that it would be um, really effective if we came up with scholarly definitions of each of the four terms that we um, were allocated last week. And I think any kind of terms that in our writing from this week that require a definition that we um, kind of take the chance in the next week, week and a half to find a scholarly definition that works for us. Um, this is kind of like an advanced kind of writing, referencing, scholarly writing um, technique, but it's one that's very, very, um, very critical and very helpful because it, it, stakes, it stakes the claim of the argument and um, gives a clear outline of what each term means. Um, as we get closer to the essay, I will probably focus more on the particular terminology that the essay aims to look at or aims to interrogate. So I think that if we started to get a head start on that and get our own glossary and our own dossier of um, terms and be really confident with them, that would be a really effective way of um, potentially achieving a high grade in the essay. Okay, well, let me know if you have any questions. Um, just a reminder that we're having a drop-in session next Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time um, to discuss the assignment. Oh, and I'll be releasing the assignment videos later on this evening, tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing some of you there. Um, this is a chance for you to ask questions, specific questions about the assignment. However, um, the discussion board's open for the assignment and my email's open as well. Okay, thanks so much.